Behind me is a Minecraft house that I made using my own Minecraft skins. This is ridiculous. All the walls of this Minecraft house are made out of unspeakable skins, even around the windows. Look at that. And of course, even the entire roof is made out of unspeakable skins. <laughs> This is just crazy. I don't even know what to say. There's even doors that work. I mean, what in the world? And when you walk in the house, it's all the back of my skin. Of course, this <laughs> is so cool. There's a wonderful painting on the wall, just in case you forget whose house this is. We have a nice little kitchen over here with pretty much everything you can need. Tons of barrels for storage as well. We also have a nice kitchen table. And of course, we have green windows. And look at the windows, surrounded by unspeakables. <laughs> I'm stepping on my own eyes, ow! And then in here, we have my bedroom. We have kind of my closet over here and my bed where I sleep. And of course, I just have unspeakables just constantly staring at me. But that is not all. This house is much more than just unspeakables. There is a secret button that is hidden under here. If I press it, it will open up the floor and it will give us a giant secret base that is underground. If you thought that was the only part of the house, you were completely wrong because that is just the entrance. We can go down here to our underground secret unspeakable base. This is so cool. Look at this. Everything is themed like my skin. Even the doors are giant mouths. How cool is that? We can walk into here and we are presented with pretty much a tropical wonderland. There is kind of a kitchen over here and a really cool fully automatic potion brewing stand. How sick is this? And I have so much more to show you guys. So definitely be sure to leave a like on this video, click that subscribe button and watch till the end of the video because I have some crazy things to show you guys in this secret Minecraft base. We'll start off over here with the giant lily pad. You guys know that I'm a frog and I love my lily pads. Now this, if we flick this lever right here, it will actually give us, wait for it, Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. a beacon and of course it's green as well and it gives us the jump effect so now we are like a real frog also check this out this island in the middle for all the potions is actually a giant lily pad as well the amount of detail that has gone into this map just blows my mind and if we head over to the giant lily pad that's in the wall we can flick this lever and it gives us a nether portal let's go to the nether because the house does not end there we have another unspeakable house inside the nether. Look at this. It's like a little frog. He's got frog legs and frog arms and big eyes. I'm telling you guys, the amount of detail that has gone into this map is so cool. There's like baby frogs all over the place. Let's head out of the nether because I have so much more to show you guys. <laughs> Hi, uh, sorry to interrupt the video. This is from www.speakable.com. If you guys ever need any merchandise, hats, hoodies, accessories, we even got T-Rex costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the merchandise link at the top of the description or head over to www.speakable.com for some merchandise. Walking down the hallway here, we can press this button and stand on this purple little pad here. And it's actually an elevator that is gonna take us downstairs into this really, really cool courtyard with tons of things. We have this beautiful tree, a little pond, and of course, frogs everywhere and over here we have a massive chess organization system so basically what you do is this chess organization system has almost all the blocks that you need in minecraft i personally hate organizing all my items well this system will do it for you you throw your unsorted items in the unsorted items chest and then it will start taking all your items out of this chest and put them in all of the barrels 
all organized. Now that is efficiency. Over here on the wall, we have some random chests and barrels just full of things like, you know, a chest with clownfish, a bowl of salad and tomatoes, books, a log with leaves, a cauldron with acid. I'll, I'll leave that one. If we head to the other side, we are presented with a table swapper. Now pretty much we can just press this button and it will swap out a ton of different tables. So maybe I don't want that one. Hmm, I'm looking for... Ah, I don't know if I'm looking for a stone cutter. What else you got? Maybe like a crafting table. Nah, I'm not looking for that one. E ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for, the crafting table. But you get the point. You can pretty much have every table in the game swap through this one block. And when you're done with this area, hop back in the elevator, press the button, and it will take you back upstairs. Now, I have some really, really cool stuff to show you guys up here. Like whatever in the world is down here at the end of the hallway. It is a giant unspeakable. Check out the frog paint on the wall this is so sick oh my gosh it is me in giant version sitting in my throne what in the world this is so so cool over here we have some super op armor we are missing a chest plate that's because i took it and i'm wearing it we can press this button and it will open up my eyeball and take us into the bedroom like what hold on look at this it's literally my eye what <laughs> That is epic. My eye is a door. That is so cool. Now we are presented with my bedroom. We have my bed right here that looks like a frog and a little bit of a lily pad. We also have my computer where I record all my Minecraft videos. And then above it, we have all my YouTube play buttons. Now I don't have the diamond play button yet, but I'm so close guys. We are at 9 million subs. And if we hit 10 million, I'll get the diamond play button. So be sure to click that subscribe button because let's get unspeakable to 10 million subs. And here, this is my closet. So pretty much, all the armor I have is green. That is my only option of armor. It's all green. Now, what I can do is I can step in here, press this button, and it will automatically dispense armor on me just like that. How cool is that? This is the most advanced base I have ever seen. Over here, we can flick this button and it will open up the wall and give us an enchanting table. And then if we need some lapis, we can press that button and lapis will come out of the ground just as we need it. But we also need some experience. So we can step on this pressure plate and it will give us bottles of experience so we can enchant with. If we exit the bedroom and head across the hall, we're presented with a secret base. Now we have to do the combination. The combination is pretty simple. All the arrows have to be pointing at the door. So we're gonna switch all these around. There we go. And when they're all right, they will open up the door. And here we are, guys. Look at this. This is a giant frog spaceship. I know, I know. It looks a little derpy, and I really don't know how it's gonna fly exactly. But before the video ends, we're gonna try and see if this thing will take flight. So stay tuned. Keep watching the video. I don't wanna fly it yet because it, it might explode. Uh, it, it might. All right, let's exit my giant eyeball. <laughs> That is so cool. I can't get over it. This room right here. I believe this is the kitchen. Yes, there we go. Check out this kitchen. All the cabinets are bright green, just like my skin. Everything is green. I mean, that cake... I don't really know if that's good to eat, but everything is green in this kitchen. We can keep going and the kitchen just keeps getting bigger and bigger. We also have a giant villager head that will go into a giant villager room that allows us to trade. I'm sorry to interrupt the Minecraft video, but I want to show you guys how you can hop on my server and play Minecraft with me. Once you're on your Minecraft screen, click multiplayer, then click add server. You're going to type in the server address, which is play.chasecraft.gg. Then you're going to click done, and then you're going to click on the server and click join. And it's that easy. I'll see you guys on the server. For one emerald, I can buy three unspeakable hats. Okay, let's try this. All right, it took my emerald. Oh, there they are. There's one right there. There we go. <laughs> Take this bad boy off and put on my unspeakable hat. Oh, yeah. For one diamond, I can get two backpacks. For one emerald, I can get toy frogs. Yo, no way. Stop. Take all my emeralds. Look at this, toy frogs. And for some more emeralds, we can get some unspeakable heads. Okay, maybe not that many, but look at this. We got unspeakable heads. I can go ahead and throw this unspeakable head on. You can't really tell the difference, but it, you know, I, yeah, it's kind of this same head. Anyways, if you think this kitchen stops here, you were wrong because it keeps going. I mean, where do you think we get all the food? There's a massive farm in here. We also have a fully automatic mushroom farm. We can just literally 
what? What? We just set a mushroom in there and it literally grows it instantly. That is so sick. It's gonna grow into oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is not good. I just made a house. I just made it. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool house. We have a fully automatic bamboo farm, a fully automatic kelp farm, and a fully automatic pumpkin and melon farm. Everything ends up in the chest after it's broken. And look how many melons we got just in one week of living here. That is crazy. These right here are all the cakes, guys. Check this out. We got normal cake, we got a green cake, we got a bookshelf cake. We got an eye of ender cake. That is so cool. We have a little hero brine up there. We have a little zombie. They're so cute. Look at them. Check out how big this furnace is. It is massive. All right, that's enough food for me. My stomach is getting hungry. Let's go into this next room, which I believe is parkour. We have a parkour training room. Hit all the buttons to earn a reward. You guys know I'm bad at parkour, so I had to build a parkour training room. This is just ridiculous, and there's slime down there. That is not good. It's like lava slime. Oh, wait. What is this? It says hit all the buttons. I only hit one button. Oh my gosh. Wait, I see another button down there. Ooh, I hit that button. You know, parkour is pretty easy when you have jump boost on. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's another button I press. There we go. I think this is the last button. Now, I know I'm in creative mode, but I'm doing this legit. Is that the last button? Is that my reward right there? It's emeralds. Look, I think I did press all the buttons. Check it out. We got emeralds. Let's go. It literally just dispenses emeralds from the ceiling. That is so cool. Over here next to the giant unspeakable, we have a dispenser system. Now, it kind of looks like it's like some sort of code, but it is actually unspeakable balloons. What? That is so sick. We have unspeakable balloons and you can pick the number of how many you want. So let's say I want eight. I'll press this button and I will get eight unspeakable balloons. Yes. That is exactly what I need. If we head over here, we are presented with a hallway that leads into something that is pretty, pretty cool. This is another training facility that I have built because I am pretty bad at Minecraft Skyblock. So here we go. Look at this. It's going to build me a bridge and I can go over to a Skyblock. Oh no, I'm falling. No, no, no. There we go. Look at that. I have all my materials for Skyblock here and I can start playing a Skyblock survival right in my very own house. And look, it's taking away the bridge. Oh no. Hey guys, it looks like I have to survive here now, I guess. Oh, I'm okay with that. There's literally diamonds down there. All right, now I told you guys if you watched till the end of the video that I would try to launch the unspeakable rocket and just kind of see what happens. Now that is what we are going to try and do. Let's press this button and it's gonna actually open the door that will allow us to go all the way up. Okay, did I press the right button? No, it's not working. For some reason, it's not launching. I swear all my calculations were correct. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The door isn't even opening. I'm going to have to do some maintenance on this big unspeakable rocket. Maybe I have to win the sky block first in order to launch the rocket. But I promise this is an actual rocket launching site. I mean, look at this. Right down there is the hole where the door is supposed to open, but it's not opening for some reason. Leave a like on this video if I should come back and try to launch the unspeakable rocket. But till then, I'll see you next time where we're going to build a Preston house. I want to thank Euclides, Danger Diamond, and Star for making this awesome Minecraft map. Thank you guys so much. You guys did a great job. For one emerald, I can get toy frogs. Yo, no way. Stop. Take all my emeralds. 